Flux Automate. Welcome back. It's Leroy here again. And today I want to take you through some of the devices that are used in the smart room. As you can see, we have a collection of all different devices. And what I'm going to do is go through them one by one. Looks a little bit of a mess right now, but we will put it in working order. So first of all, what we're going to do is look through some of the automation hubs that you may use in and around your house. We can use them for voice activation. We can also touch screens or we can interact with them via the app. So I'm just going to go through all the devices really quickly, one by one, just talking about the specifics of the device and where it might be used in the room. So one of the main devices in the room is the Echo Show 8, and we use this to interact with all the devices within the room, mainly for the voice activation. So you may have a device like this at home and you can easily integrate other smart devices to this hub here. Very useful, mainly for the voice automation. So you can talk to it, you can ask it the time, you can ask it to turn on lights once you have everything nice and configured. So in addition to other devices that we have in the home, we can also have some other smaller hubs. As we have here, we have a Google Hub and we have another Alexa Echo Hub. Both of these can be integrated into the home by themselves or can be connected to other devices like the touchscreen of the Echo 8. The real benefit to having these is you can dart them in different areas of the home and still keep the automation flowing from one room to another. So this is the IKEA Tradfry Gateway. This is another hub enabling you to connect devices directly to it. And then from then you can connect it to your other Google or Amazon devices. The benefits of having this device is that you can connect any of your other IKEA peripherals or automated devices straight to your Echo or your Google Hub. This enables you to talk directly to your Echo or Google Hub and connect to this device, which in turn automates all your other devices such as light bulbs, blinds and speakers within your home. This here is a Wi-Fi extender. And one of the main reasons I implemented this into the room is it enables me to divide the Wi-Fi within the home. So any of the devices that are connected to each other throughout the room, I've connected just to this device. This enables me to set the security to what is best for the room. And it makes it easier to connect directly to the home router. And also as the additional level of security, you can switch the room off just by managing this extender. One of the other benefits in using this device is that it works on 2.5 kilohertz and most Wi-Fi devices that are related to automation run at that frequency. It's easier to switch on and off using one of these rather than managing that through your home router. So keeping in tune with hubs, here we have a 4K HDMI matrix. And this is a four in, two out. The benefits of that is I can connect up to four devices to this matrix and then send the signal to two other displays. So give an example, you could have your Xbox, you could have your TV streamer, you could have a PC and one of additional device and get them to be sent to two different screens or the same screen at the same time. The benefits of that is that you don't have to go, go around and plug out and plug in other devices. You can manage this straight from this device using either remote control or in this instance, what we've done, we've added an additional IR blaster to the room, enabling us to send signals that replicate what happens when you press one of the buttons on the remote. Right here, we have a basic LED controller. Now this one, this specific one works using a remote control, but the ones that we've installed around the, around the room work via Wi-Fi and they connect directly to our automation hubs and enable us to manage the lighting by voice or by button or by the application. And the benefits of that is that you never have to be in physical contact with the device. Once you install it, you tuck it away and never have to go to it again unless you might need to reset it at any time. 
all the changing of the colors and the brightness and any other light effects that you want to be controlling, you can do that straight through the app, which talks straight to this device. So here's a, a little short example of an LED strip and these are used all around the room. This specific one has been cut. You can cut it to different sizes and you have limits in terms of start and the beginning where you can cut. So you have to be very creative in how you install these and taking it round corners and also tucking it away. These come in all shapes and sizes and different colors. And when they're connected to controllers, you can do multiple different things. So another device that we use in the room is this motion detector. Now this is connected to our automation within the room and to our hub and it enables us to detect any movement with the room and we can have this programmed to turn on lights, turn off lights after a certain amount of time, um, open blinds, set alarms and many other things you can do with this motion detector. For the traditional type of tangible interaction with the room we have switches. Now this one enables us to open and close blinds, whereas this one enables us to control the lighting. The benefits of these is that you can place them anywhere within the room and they are managed by battery. So you only need to replace them probably every six months to a year and you can move them wherever you want in the room or even in the house and they connect directly to our hubs and we can program, we can program them to do specific tasks. In addition to switches, we have switches for plug sockets as well. So we can turn any device into a smart device simply by adding one of these plugs. Now these plugs are connected to the device, to the hub within the room or within the house, and you can connect to them via the hub, via the app, enabling you to interact with them via voice, or you can set timers when you're at home or when you're millions or hundreds of miles away from home. I say millions if you're in space. <laughs> space. Another type of switch we have here is a four button switch that you can program to do absolutely anything to interact with the room. So on one button you could do turn on lights and turn off lights and the other two buttons you could turn on the Xbox or turn off the Xbox as you may have seen in one of my demos. This device connects via Wi-Fi and you can also interact with it via the app that comes along with the device. Here we have a couple of different light bulbs as you can see right here. Now this one is an LED light bulb and you can change this any color, any dimness. You can also add additional effects and it gives a kind of neon output. The real benefit to these devices is the fact that they get really bright, but also in terms of energy efficiency, this specific LED light bulb, if it was on for a whole year, would only use $1.08. This one here is more of a traditional type of light bulb, giving you warmer colors. And you're also able to connect this to the hub within your home, just like the other one, and interact with it, set timers, and also add effects. As I mentioned earlier, we have the ability to interact with any of the devices in the room that use infrared receivers, such as your audio amplifiers and your TVs and anything else that you would use a remote for, you can program this device to then replicate the output from any of those remote controls. The benefits of that is that you can connect them to your automation hub, such as your Google Hub or your Amazon Echo, and you can control them via your voice. It takes a little bit of programming, but they add so much additional functionality and value to your space. So as I mentioned before, we have been using hubs such as the Google Hub or the Amazon Echo Hub, but also we have this hub here. Now this is the mother of all hubs. It enables us to connect almost all the devices in the room to this device and then enables us to connect to other devices within the room. And you may be asking yourself, why have so many different hubs in the home? Well, different manufacturers require different 
levels of communication between their devices and they set and create additional hubs for their devices. This specific device here, or this hub, enables us to connect everything to this one hub rather than having multiple different ones. You can then connect this hub to your Google or your Echo hubs and do automation, set timers, and you can interact with this from anywhere as long as you have internet connection that enables you to connect to the hub. One of the greatest benefits of having this specific hub here is that you don't have to rely on your devices being connected to the internet. Many devices that you buy now require you to connect to the cloud, which then once you send a request for a light to be turned on or for a service to be started, it has to connect to the cloud with that message. The cloud then sends a message back to your device and then tells you what to do. The downside to that, so if the internet goes down in your home, then you'll be stuck, unable to interact with your devices because you can't connect to the cloud. Well, this specific device here, as long as we have electricity running, we can connect to the hub and then connect to all of our devices. Now, this is the Aotech SmartThings Hub. It was originally called the Samsung SmartThings Hub, but was recently bought out and now is being managed and distributed by Aotech. So one of the last areas I want to talk to you about is how to interact with all these devices and hubs. One of the main areas I would say is using your mobile device. So in addition to using your hub, interacting with it while you're in the room or at home, you can also connect via your mobile device. So with your mobile device, as you can see here, we can access all these different applications. So in this specific one here, so in this specific one here, we've labeled all the lights within the room and we can turn them on and off and interact with them. In this one here, we can also connect to our other devices. So as you can see, many different ways to interact with your room or your devices within your home. But as I was saying earlier on, the SmartThings Hub, once you integrate all your devices to that hub, you can connect and manage them from one application. In addition to the SmartThings Hub, we can also connect via our smartwatches. This being the Samsung smartwatch and what enables us to do is we can easily swipe through, turn on lights and turn off lights and any other options that we program and add to the watch. So this was just a short video showing you what goes on in the background behind the devices within the room. I hope this has educated you and inspires you to get into smart tech. Flux automate.